So I'm going to be showing you guys the layered haircut for the test that we're going to take. Is it recording? Okay, um, you will have 60 minutes for this haircut. During those 60 minutes, your setup, the haircut, and your breakdown, which means cleanup, will be part of that time. So um, we will begin. So step one is wash your hands. So you'll go back to the shower, or to the sink and wash your hands with soap and water, come back. And step two is you are going to set up your SMA. So our SMA is going to consist of our blue towel, which you'll put everything that touches the client on there. We're gonna have our client record card, our first aid kit and our safety data sheet out. And we will have our trash bag labeled trash out. I'll keep some tape out for you guys so that if you need it, it'll be here. If you have a station, obviously you're going to set up at the station. If you have a tripod, I'm going to let you guys use the nail tables and set this up just like I am on the nail table. Okay, and then you'll get everything else that you need. So you're going to get your shears, your water bottle, a Sanex strip. Okay, so the things that touch clients are going to go on the Sanex strip, your cutting comb, you're going to have four butterfly clips on the blue towel and four duck butt clips. Okay, and the cape. So now I'm going to drape my client. So I find it easiest to or to clip the hair up for putting on the drape and the settings. If you drop anything, don't panic. Just put it in your soiled container and get a new one. But you don't want to drop something on the floor and then use it on a client. So just put it in your soiled container and get a new one. That's why we give you guys extras. So we'll drink the client, and you guys know that I always recommend getting a duck, an extra ductal clip and clipping it in the front to hold this drape on because they always want to fall. Now make sure that when you're draping your client that the drape does not come in contact with the skin, that it only comes in contact with the Sanex strip. You will get points taken off if, that's, if um, the drape is touching the skin. Okay, so now... Oh, I need to get some water in this really quick. Okay, so now we're going to get the hair wet. We want to keep the hair wet throughout the haircut. You want it to be wet, but not dripping too much on the ground. If it is dripping a lot on the ground, Get some paper towels and wipe up up and then wash your hands. If you end up wiping something off the ground, then you'll want to wash your hands first before you touch the client again. So it's best to just not have too much water towards dripping. Okay, so we're going to now part the hair into four quadrants or four sections. Don't spend too much time making perfect little buns because we have one hour for the whole haircut. But do keep it neat. You need to show that you are controlling the hair. Okay, so neat partings. Comb it out. Do it as quickly as you can because this is where you can lose valuable time. That's unnecessary to lose. So just have it neat, but don't spend too much time. So now we have our four quadrants. Close 
flipped up. And then we're going to start on our zero degree cut. So I'm just going to start in the front. So zero degree, nice and easy. We'll do about an inch at a time. And remember, this is just going to be held straight down at the body and we don't want to cut past our second knuckle. So we're not going to cut all this hair at once. We're going to break that down to about half of that because we can't cut past our second knuckle or else we can cut ourselves. So there we go. We're cutting at least one inch for the test. You can cut more than one inch, but don't cut less than one inch. Because I need to be able to see your cut when I check it. Okay, so again, one inch at a time. Keeping the hair wet. Wet hair is easier to control. my second knuckle. I now have established my guideline with my zero degree. And I'll keep going until I get to the point where the layers are shorter than the length, which I already have gotten there. So now everything that I'm going to bring down is shorter than the hair that I just cut. So we're done with that section. Okay. Oh, sorry. So we're going to keep a little bit of that out to use as our guideline for the next quadrant. Okay. So now I am not just taking this hair out because then we're going to be missing a chunk right here. So I'm taking an inch from the entire hairline. So don't forget about this hairline area. So keeping the hair nice and wet. See, I'm trying to move as fast as possible. Okay, so I have my guideline established. And now I'm going to keep cutting at the same length, not past my second knuckle. And at a zero, holding it down flat to the body. Now I'll bring my next. Now every time I'm setting stuff down that um, touches the client's head, I'm putting it on the blue paper, not on the counter. Okay, so I just brought another inch down. And don't forget, you guys, to palm your shears and your comb. It makes everything go a lot faster. Okay, so I'm finding my guideline. There it is. Cutting to it, but not past my second knuckle. Holding the hair flat down. Palming my shears and comb. And this will probably be the last one because the layers now are shorter than the length. I can clearly see that by holding this up. When I pull it down, it goes to here. So I know that this is gonna be the last one, if anything, here. Okay. So is there anything to cut? No. Oh, oh three hairs, okay. So that section is now done. This is shorter than the length. So we'll just leave a tiny bit of that out to use for the guideline on the next section as I work my way around the head. Okay, so we're gonna clip that back up. And 
now I'll bring an inch from around the entire hairline for the next subsection in the third quadrant, keeping the hair wet. But not so wet that it's dripping. Okay. on our zero degree. Still not cutting past our second knuckle because you'll be graded on that too. That's a safety thing. Safety, safety issue. Mm. the next inch of hair. Okay. You'll also be getting graded on how you're holding your shears, so make sure that you're holding them right. Um, it should be palm to palm when you're doing a zero degree. So see my palms are facing each other. So you're palm to palm, not cutting past your second knuckle, and you are um, palming your shears and, and comb. All of that will be being evaluated during this test. Also make sure when you're doing your zero and throughout the whole haircut that your mannequin head is straight. Okay, so if it's tilted, you're gonna have a crooked haircut. So you wanna make sure that your mannequin head is looking straight ahead throughout this cut. Okay, there's just a tiny bit more to cut there. Almost done with the zero now. stragglers really nothing okay so that quadrant is complete and just like before we're just gonna keep a small amount down to use as your guideline for your next section your next quadrant okay so we're gonna quickly clip that clip that back up and here we are on our last quadrant for the zero degree, I'll pull about an inch of hair down. Get that hair wet. Okay. Using the previous section, that's your guide. Again, holding it down to a zero not cutting past your second knuckle, but we will cut that hair. Make sure the hair is wet 
and this is going to be a one inch wide section. So looking in your mirror, make sure that your mannequin head is looking straight, that it's not tilted or crooked, and we're going to have a half inch on either side of the head, so we're going to make this about a one inch section. And it's going to go all the way down to the occipital bone in the back of the head. So clip that hair to the side just so that you don't accidentally cut hair that you don't want to cut. And then you want to make it even on the other side. Sometimes it helps to just comb the hair back first. And make sure this isn't lopsided. So use your mirror. I'm going to go ahead and go in the front because I don't have a mirror. Okay, if that happens during your test, put this in your soil container and get a new cutting comb out. Because if this was a real person and that really happened, you wouldn't use um, a comb that fell on the floor. That would not be sanitary. So over here too, we're going to clip the hair up that we're not, that we don't want to cut. So all of this gets clipped away. And now we're going to establish our layer <coughs> guideline with this mohawk section. Okay, so we're going to now transition to a 90 degree cut. So you should be standing on the left hand side and kind of behind the mohawk. So over to the side of your client's head. So be on the left hand side. We're gonna pull this hair straight up from where it grows. And we're gonna cut a minimum of one inch off. not cutting past your second knuckle. So take a little bit of that out and use that as your guideline in your next inch of hair moving backwards. And our comb is always following the shape of the head and our fingers will follow, okay? So right at the top, the head is this is the shape of the head. Okay, so we'll follow the shape of the head with our comb and then followed by our fingers. There's the next inch to cut, not past the second knuckle. <coughs> and here we're bringing a little bit of that back to use as our guide for the next inch of hair. We're just gonna keep doing the same thing all the way back. of the head. We're going to bring this out to a 90. This is going to be our last 90 for this section. So my fingers are following the curvature of the head. And now I'm going to clip all this up because it, so it doesn't fall down. And this is the occipital bone. So this is the transitional um, section where we're not going to cut any of this. We don't want to cut into the length, but we are going to put our fingers to a 45 degree angle. So we're combing the hair straight out, but our fingers will now go into a 45 degree angle so that we can transition the hair from the 90 to the zero degree cut that we cut earlier. Okay. 
So my fingers will go to a zero, I mean, sorry, to a 45. You'll see the short hair there, the short hair there. So you're just pretty much connecting the dots. So my fingers are at a 45. That transitions the 90 with the zero, and then we don't cut any of this hair. So that is our mohawk subsection. Now we're gonna um, part the hair back into four quadrants. Okay, so again, keeping the hair wet. <coughs> down the center. And behind the ears. That's how you get the front sections. And we'll do the same on the other side. And then in the back, just go straight down the center, and that will give you your, your two back quadrants, your two back sections. Okay. So now to cut the layers, we are gonna start back at the front section. We're gonna go down about two inches. And this will be our first section. Flip this hair away so that you don't cut anything that you um, don't wanna cut. And this is two inches long, but we're only going to cut one inch vertical subsections at a time. So, I'm gonna make it an inch wide and I'm gonna clip this hair away so I know what I have and have not cut it, cut. Okay, so the hair's getting a little dry, just get it wet. Okay, so this is a 90. So we're gonna pull it straight out. We'll see our mohawk guideline. Cut that hair. Now take a little bit of this out in case you need a little bit of a guide, but you should have enough from your mohawk guide. So we'll get another inch back and keep doing the same thing. So straight out at a 90, cut. Okay, go back another inch. Straight out to a 90. Find your mohawk guide. Cut. And the last one inch of hair. Straight out and cut, but not past your second knuckle. Okay, now it's very important in this next one that you bring a little bit of this hair down because this will be your new guideline, okay? So clip, it's also important that you clip this hair away so you know not to cut it. I like to use the duck bow clips because they're nice and flat to the head, they don't get in the way of your haircut. And we will bring the next one, uh, two inches down. And we'll do the same on this section as we did on the one just before. So we've got a two inch long section. Now we're gonna get a one inch wide vertical subsection. And we're gonna comb it straight out. And again, 
we're following the shape of the head. So the head is starting to curve down, so our fingers and our comb are gonna start to curve down now. Grab your shears, and there's my guide from the above section. Just cut that hair. Get another inch back. And here's our guide. Let's find it. There it is. Cut that hair. And the last inch back. There's the guide. That goes in there. And cut the hair. Okay. So those were our first two on the side of the 90. Now we're gonna take a little bit of this one down and this is gonna be our transitional section. So take some of that hair that you just cut as your guide, put the rest into the clippy at the top. And we are going to take the bottom two inches out so we don't cut that. Okay, because this is the length of the hair that we don't want to cut into. So we're going to first, before we do anything, clip this hair out of the way. So I'm going to take this hair and clip it underneath. That way I don't cut into it. I want you guys to make sure that you're doing that. Okay, so now this is what we call the transitional section where we're going to be moving our fingers to a 45 degree angle to blend the above 45 degree haircut, I'm sorry, 90 degree haircut with the zero. All right, so let's get this hair wet. So we're gonna go one inch at a time vertically. Coming it straight out from the head and we're gonna put our fingers into a 45 degree angle and just angle that hair to your guide. Okay, so that one's done. Next inch back, coming it straight out from the head. Fingers at a 45 and cutting it at a 45 degree angle to your guide. So on the last one, okay. So that whole side now is done for now. And we're gonna do the same in the other front section. So make sure that you get this hair from the bottom that you clipped away. And we're gonna clip this all. Okay, we're gonna clip this all away so for the sake of time I'm not going to do this on the other front section repeat what I just did on the other front section but I am going to show you how to do this on one of the back sections okay so it's going to be basically the same thing only on the back we go a little bit um, lower so we're gonna get our two inches straight across, okay, from the top, and flip the other hair away. And we're taking one inch wide subsections. Our Mohawk guideline should be in there, so we will use the fine tooth part of our comb, comb the hair straight up, following the shape of the head, and you can see the Mohawk guideline there, just cut to that. And drop that down, and do the same on the next one inch back. There's the guideline, cut the extra hair off. Okay, and just like the front section, we're going to take a little bit of this out to be our new guideline for the next section that we bring down and clip this hair that we have already cut away. 
So we'll bring down another two inches. Clip that hair away. And using one inch vertical subsections, we're gonna pull it straight out from the head, following the shape of the head with our comb and our fingers. You can see the guideline from the previous section above and just cut that hair to that same length. Okay, so that's done. Next inch back. There's the guideline, cut it off to the guideline and the next inch back, do the same. Okay. All right, so take a little bit of this out to be our guide for the next section. Flip this away. And now we're at the occipital bone area. So we are going to clip this bottom away. We don't want to cut into it. And this is going to be our transitional layer where we're going to hold our fingers at a 45 to connect the 90 degree haircut with the zero degree haircut. So combing it straight out from the head. Holding your fingers at a 45. Okay, I don't see, I don't see the guidelines. So what I'm gonna do is get a little bit more out of the previous section. If you ever don't see your guideline, you can do that. You can, you know, maybe you didn't take enough out of the previous section. And just get some more out. Sometimes it happens. Let's try it again. Let's bring one inch down. Okay, that did the trick. So now I can see the guideline and I'm gonna hold my fingers at a 45 and cut to the guideline. You can clip the hair away so you don't cut it twice. Pulling it straight out. You're connecting the dots. So there's a short end at the bottom, the short end at the top. Hold your fingers at a 45 and just cut what's in the middle. And last one. Do the same. So now that back section is done. You can clip it away. And then you would do the same that I just did on each section on the other front and back sections. The last thing you're gonna do, so once you've cut all four quadrants the way that I just showed you, the last thing that you're gonna do is you are going to cut the face framing layers and I'll show you on one side. This hair is going to come from behind the ear. Okay. Always clip the hair that you're not going to cut away, especially when you're doing face framing layers. You don't want to accidentally cut something because it's right in the front of the face, right where your client is going to see all the work that you do, everything that you've cut, so you want to make sure it's perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to comb the hair down and then we're going to pull it forward. Okay, so you're technically over directing the hair by pulling it forward and you're going to hold your fingers at a 45 degree angle. You're going to find the shortest spot of the hair, which is typically kind of in the bang area. Okay, 
So pulling it forward, find the shortest spot. Okay, so you're gonna start at the top. My fingers are at a diagonal. They're at a 45 degree angle. Just cutting the hair at an angle. By the time you get to the bottom, you don't want to cut into the bottom. You want to cut to the bottom, not through the bottom. What I mean by that is this little corner, just take that and drop it out so you don't cut that. Okay? So now we'll just continue with our 45 degree angle that we're holding our fingers at. Okay. Now you can bring that hair that you just put up down, make sure it looks good. It's just a touch that I want to take off of that corner. Okay. And then, so that is how you do the face framing layers. And when you do the other side, you do want to make sure that you're taking, hold on, let me cut this away, that you're taking the other front and measuring it to this side to see where to start the face framing layers so that they're even. So what I mean by that is when you take this front part down on the other side, take a little bit here in the middle, And you just measure it to this little bit in the middle here. And you can see where I started it. You can see that there. You want to just kind of make a little clip so that you see, okay, this is where to start. It, it matches this side, okay? So that there, you'll, you'll have a starting point a starting reference where to part this, uh, where to cut this one. So, so now that your haircut is done, so you've done all four quadrants, you've done your face framing layers, the last thing that you're gonna do is clean up your station. So you wanna make sure that you take the clips out of the hair, okay? You're gonna comb the hair nicely, okay? Now, we're gonna take everything that doesn't get thrown away and put it into our um, soiled container. So all the clippies, the combs, the shears, that is going to go into your soiled container. There's a few things that you can leave on your station. You can leave your water bottle and you can leave your first aid kit, your safety data sheet, and your client record card there. You can leave your trash bag there, okay? But you do wanna take your SMA towel, put it into your trash bag, and then you want to undrape the client. Now, normally in a salon, you would put your cape, your drape, into the laundry basket. But here, with you guys being students, okay, you're gonna throw away your Sanic strip. With you guys being students, I have you guys wash your own drapes because otherwise they get all mixed up together and then people lose them. So in this instance, we're just gonna put this in our soiled container. At the salon, you wouldn't do that. That's only a this classroom thing that we're doing for testing. When you're working on a client, you wouldn't do this either. We would put this in, well, you would take it home and wash it, okay? But for this test, we're gonna put this in this oil container with your clippy. So now the only thing left is your mannequin head, your trash bag, your carts, and your water bottle. And don't sweep yet at this point because I need to come around and look at the hair. Make sure you've cut at least one inch of hair off. So at this point, everything's cleaned up. 
you can stand behind your client or your mannequin head with your hands behind your back and looking forward, just wait for me to come around. I will come around, I will check your mannequin and I will look at the hair on the floor, make sure there's one inch and then I'll say, okay, you may sweep. And then that's how you know that you're done with the test. You sweep and then you go sit down at your desk and wait for everybody else to finish.